Okay, so here's this pressure washer I'm going to take apart here and destroy. I, I'm, I'm going to use uh, basically, um, you know, my grinder and my hammer and whatever else I feel that I need to, you know, beat the shit out of this thing. So, I, I am wearing long sleeves. I'll put some gloves on here in a minute too. And, um, and I've got this little face shield thing so I don't get smacked in the face with stuff. So I'm going to put this stuff on and, uh, you know, start beating shit out of this thing. Make sure you guys are still in the thing here. Yeah, this is probably going to get loud and stuff like that, so you might want to turn down your uh, uh, your sound here. I've got a couple different grinders. I've got one with a cutting disc on it, and the other one's with the uh, with an actual grinder disc here. So I'm going to get both these together and. Start off this one here with the grinding disc on it, cut off the lip things. Not much to the inside of this thing so far, so this is kind of what we're looking at here. Um, I'm gonna cut the back off, out, cut the wheels off, see if I can get to the motor inside in here and see kind of what's going on here.
Okay. Here's the basic mechanicals of the pump here though. What what normally does everything else, the rest of that shit is just basically the case and you know the outputs and stuff on it. So that looks like it's part of the cooling part of the pump here. Let me take the grinder and I'm gonna cut this stuff off here so we can get the rest of the pump. Yeah, this is one of my uh, cheapy Harbor Freight deals here. Um, paid ten dollars for this thing. I've used it a little bit. Um, I actually bought two of them. What I done instead of having to have, you know, have to change the wheel on it every time from one to the other, I got two of them because they're only ten dollars a piece. If I burn one of them up, who cares? But instead of having to change the grinding disc and the wheel and stuff all the time, you get one of each. And then all I got to do is if the wheel goes bad on it, I just replace the wheel and still got the other one together. So, you know, so, I can pull the rest of this case off here for you, maybe. Uh, this is the main power cord. I already cut that off before I actually started disassembling it. This is the main motor. It looks like it's the motor, and this here is the uh, is the pump. Any of you guys that know anything about motors, you got your windings and the coil and all that crap in here, and you know all that stuff. It's it's raining, baby. You need to be in the house. Yeah, my daughter's out here trying to figure out what I'm doing, so uh, disregard that there. But yeah, this thing actually worked and it built pressure, like I said before, but it just didn't work correctly because the wand and stuff was bad in it. Um, you know, you got your inputs and stuff in here. Here's your switch and stuff that actually turns everything on. Um, I'll cut this motor and stuff off of here and get to the pump. Yeah, no, normally you don't want water and electricity together, but you know, I got it on a, uh, uh, a surge protector and stuff like that. It's a pretty good one, so I, I don't want electrocuted. Y'all don't need to do this unless you kind of know what you're doing. I don't really know what I'm doing either, but you know. Yeah, I should have took a screwdriver and took them out of there, but like I said, I'm just going to beat the shit out of this thing and tear it up. I don't care. So, here's the main part of the motor, gear drive. At least it is gear driven and it's actually a metal gear in here. So, if you guys have one of these, you'll know that it's a, at least it's a metal gear driven type of compressor pump there. Um, looks as though you have to have this in there to actually drive the pump though. You know, you can't use this as separate, so you have to have the motor on it. You couldn't put like a, you know, a different kind of motor unless... Unless you took this gear off of there in assembly and stuffed it down in there so that way you could actually use it as a different assembly using a different type of motor or something on it if the motor had actually burnt out on it or whatnot. It's got these gears and stuff and whatnot in here. Um, you might be able to take this and stuff it back together, but you know, I doubt it. I'm not worried about putting it back together. It does look like a relatively high quality thing here at least you know for like a Walmart kind of job here doesn't look so bad and like I said here's the gears and stuff from that
So, as you're seeing, all I did was just cut the bull. Uh, actually had a, um, like a star head kind of nut on there, or a bolt, whatever. I just cut, chopped it off there. Like I said, this is going in the trash anyhow, so I just wanted to take it apart and show you guys here. Uh, yeah, so what I got to do is I'm going to pry this apart here so that way we can see the rest of them, the uh, assembly here. Oh, another thing. Yeah, I know I don't have socks on. It's the, it don't hurt. You know, it's just a little bit of sparks and stuff. So it's not like I'm, it's not like I'm welding or burning something or whatnot. So. Uh, in here it looks like that was an O-ring seal that's on there. Got this little o-ring seal and then this looks like part of the pump system here um you know okay roller bearings in there could have been a little better at least they're they're not separated or anything all the bushings and stuff and then here's the inside of the assembly you know it's all cast inside in there it might have been machined at the end here but got these little springs on this thing and I don't know how to explain all that crap. Like I said, I'm just tearing it apart. It gives me something to do here and post up a video. Um, looks like all this was made out of aluminum at least. Um, so I want to take this apart. At least it'd be a little bit of aluminum scrap. This year is just a, I'm assuming what they call a pump head. Um, That was a switch that goes in there and that runs to the, to the electrical pump and you, know, you got all this crap here. Um, looks like those pieces, the, the three little pieces there actually run up inside of this. And I'm assuming when it runs around in there it actually, that's what pressurizes it to go through the system here. It's probably some sort of a one way valve or something in there, I don't, I don't exactly know. Yeah, there's another valve type assembly. I said this is this unit was actually in pretty good shape, other than the damn, other than the wand was bad on it. So, right here, let me chop the end of this off and see what I can get out of here. Okay, um, this here. Uh, runs on 120 hertz. I, you know, I live in the United States here, so any of you guys viewing this from outside of here, you know, like I said, runs on 120 instead of the 240. But what I'm gonna do is I might disassemble this another day. My video here is a little long, so um, I don't know if it'll upload all the way. But um, you guys got any questions, comments? Uh, please rate and video, you know, subscribe and stuff. You know, I need some more subscribers here, so I'm gonna do some of this, you know, crazy stuff here to try to get some of y'all to subscribe to me. So. Like I said, thanks and subscribe.